All right, welcome back to Webdematics. This is Subindu Bhatt. Now let's manage orders. So to manage order, we'll need an admin panel where admin can log in and view order details and initiate the rest of the process to complete the order. Actually to ship the order to customer. So for admin panel, we'll, need, we'll use this phaser and it will quickly generate the admin panel. And yeah, so let's use that. Go to docs. And first let's install this. Go to VS code, open up terminal. All right, so while it is installing, let's go back to documentation and see what Boiser is. So it is an admin interface for your Laravel app. It gives us easy way to manage our data like at edit. It will create all these pages and it will create menus, media, manage the files, bread or crud generator, which will create, which will create all the pages to show the resources. Like if you want to show the re products, it will create the products show page, index page, form to create products in minutes. So if we need to code that out from scratch, it will take a lot of time. So it makes it quite easier. It calls it bread, browse, read, edit, add and delete. This is sim similar to crud. All right, so once it is finished installing, let's go and proceed with the installation process. Next, we need to make sure we have app URL matched to our website's URL. So to edit that, go to env. And by default, the app URL is localhost. Just make sure you edit it to your, in our case, webmall.test. So everything else is on place. And next, you can, uh, you have to install like this, PHP Artisan Voyager install. Or if you want to with uh, dummy data, you can install like this. So I'll install with this dummy data. Go to terminal. So it will run all process that are required to set up the Voyager admin panel. So it is migrating, couple of tables. It is publishing the configuration files. Seeding data, yeah. So it installed hook, it uh, automatically run the storage link. Yeah, successfully installed. Now if you see in your web.php, yeah, you should see this new entry edit. So by visiting slash admin, you can access your admin panel now. So let's see if we missed any, yeah, so everything is fine. And we need to create the admin user. So if there is uh, already user, if you can see, it will create one admin account and these settings. So if you want to create a new admin user, you can do like this. Or if you want to associate the existing user, if you want to give privilege of admin to existing user, just do like this. Let's first see if it created a uh, admin user. Yeah, so it didn't create a new user. So if there is already existing user, it will not create a new admin user for admin panel. So what we can do is we can associate the current user as a admin. So we'll make the current user admin. Let's go to terminal. So PSP artisan Voyager admin. So our username is this. Sorry, email is this. And now it will make this admin. So now this user has full access to site. So we can log in with that user. Otherwise you can execute this command and it will create a brand new admin user. So now let's visit slash admin. There we go. So this is the admin panel. 
so again if you want to create brand new admin then you can simply run this command and just keep the email of your admin let's say admin at the rate admin.com so it will ask for admin name admin password password there we go so now we have two admin accounts all right so this is the admin panel uh, and here we can we can manage users we can create new roles like seller or customer normal user there is already two roles for you you can also see all the logged in users like so you can manage the role currently bo both are administrator so these post and pages by default it comes with uh, if you run with dummy data then there are tools so now what we'll do is we'll create uh, orders we'll create the way to manage orders like there is pages so this is the bread for pages bread meaning you can uh, browse the pages so by the way it created uh, it already created pages table when you do Voyager install and we can add new page we can edit it view it so all forms come all form comes by default so what we'll do is one entry for orders so in order to do that go to two and go to bread so we want to uh, we want to manage orders that's why we need to do add bread to this table so we will add all those pages for orders as well so just do that so table name uh, display name order yeah, singular plural URL slack so we can use icon for this table let's see what icons we have and for now let's use this icon so everything looks fine all right so here we can create all the forms so it is asking us what input type these fields so these are the all fields in our orders table all database and database columns table columns so we need to define what uh, kind of data type uh, they got so if we select text it will cre create the text form field similarly there are a lot of options like text area checkbox and grand total is text item paid so for now let's uh, keep them yeah notes let's make it text area so if you do submit then let's see so it has created the bread for orders so if so if you can see over here it has created the menu item for orders if you visit that yeah it should display all the orders in our system so there are uh, 10 orders so you can perform all actions here now you don't have to create separate pages so if you want to edit anything just edit it like so if you want to add notes to it uh, cool order there we go so it edited so basically it makes it easy to view all the orders and see the status of the order whether item is paid or not like so all right so here we need to edit couple of things like if we want to edit this order for example this order has been placed and it has been delivered or so it is in some other status we need we should be able to update this status from pending to completed or processed at this point if you do edit yeah so this is a text field instead we need to make it drop down because in our table this is the enum field with uh, only limited data limited kind of option that you can put so if you see order table 
and this payment payment method can only accept these values similarly status also can only accept these values so it is better to make them drop down so let's do that so to edit uh, this thing what we need to do is we need to go to the tools go to bread I will open this up on new tab and go to orders and now edit bread so let's first head to status so it is text let's make it to drop down where is that select drop down and we need to pass the options for drop down what are the options so if you see documentation in form fields there is drop down you can see you can specify drop down like this we have to give options So here we have to give option. So by default, I will not give any value. So for now, let's keep that. So we have only these options available: pending, processing, completed, decline. So I will put them in. So text on right will show up on form and this is the actual value that will be submitted to database. So let's similarly, let's update for other options. Let's put other options. So there we go, I put this, these options. I have uh, removed the default. So similarly, we'll need a uh, same thing for payment method. So payment method also contains these options, cash on delivery, PayPal, Stripe, card, card. Similarly, there is each paid field which also got two value true or false zero or one so is paid this field so let's make it uh, let's make it so it is uh, let's make it checkbox if you see over here checkbox so by default this checkbox is converted to toggle switch so we need to specify on and off so it's paid also we need to so if on meaning we'll say paid so paid contains true value and not paid if it is off so when it's checked it will pass in true because this is already a boolean field so true will be one and false will be zero all right so yeah, let's uh, edit it. Let's save it. So update it. Let's refresh the edit order page. Now we should see, yeah, now we should see the drop down, like pending, processing completed. Similarly, not paid, like this paid. Similarly for payment method. It looks like payment method we forgot to change it to. Let's do it now. So as you can see payment method is still the text. We forgot to do it select. Let's quickly do it. We need to change it to drop down from text. So yeah it is text. Let's change it to select drop down so we already put in options field so we don't need to do it do anything there just save it 
refresh it now payment method is also the drop down now uh, let's update some options so this order number has been let's make it paid let's change the status from pending to decline and payment method from cash on delivery to let's say paypal so everything else is same let's save it and let's see if it is working yeah so this order number is pay, paid and we make it to paypal Yeah, looks cool. So next up, what we need to do instead of showing this user ID, we need to show the ordered by the name of the user who ordered the, who make this order. Let's go to edit. Uh, yeah, we don't need to go edit. What we'll do here is we'll display the name of user. So for that, we need to again go to the bread from to bread and we need to edit this bread order spread and just go back to all the way to down and here you can see the create relationship field so if you do create relationship it will create the relationship between users and order and display it on the pages so to create relationship you need to first create the bread like we did first we create a bread by submitting and then we go to order and then edit the bread and now we can create relationship so relationship type is has uh, like order belongs to order belongs to user so it says fully qualified model name which is app user so which column from order is used to reference user it is user id display user id so we want to display the name of user and store user id so this will be saved to database let's add new relationship so successfully created let's go back to orders page all right so after creating relationship we can see the user so user who ordered the product so it is saying users but we can uh, customize these views manually for now it is okay all right so everything looks fine next what we'll do is we will uh, for example if user do the view it will show currently it will show the order details like this order number and everything so what we'll do next is we'll add here a table which will show the details of order like what items the user ordered with what, what quantity and total price. Yeah, so for doing that we need to customize Voyager a bit. So we'll do that next.